Hello, beautiful people. I hope that all is well in your world and this day become one of the best days of your life right here on this plantation called America. My beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters, know this. <clears throat> the white racists controlled mass media has contributed to the racist attitudes of all non-black folks toward black folks. And they have contributed to the murderous culture of law enforcement regarding black folks. Right here on this plantation called America. The racist, white control, white owned mass media, their executives, their editors, their administration are purposely contributing to the racist attitudes of non black folks toward black folks, people that look like me. If we look backwards 100 years, 200 years, you will <clears throat> find that it was the slave catchers, the slave murderers, the slave abusers, the slave overseers, they are the ones that eventually became law enforcement. And during the Jim Crow era, it was the KKK members that became law enforcement. That KKK attitudes, that KKK culture, that slave catcher culture and attitudes have permeated law enforcement throughout this plantation called America. It is, it is now endemic. It's endemic in the law enforcement culture right here on this plantation called America. The white racist control mass media will always single out doing any protest of black folks. When black folks are protesting, they will always single out and find some local store that has been broken in and looted by some black folks, not all black folks, some black folks. Every white-owned television station, every white-owned radio station, every white-owned magazine, will show the image of a black man, black woman, allegedly doing a crime, looting some convenience store. They will show it 150 times per hour. Repeatedly, they will go back to it. Every, every segment will have that image inserted in it intentionally. These white folks are propagating negative stereotypes about black folks, people that look like me. And the white-owned, white-controlled, racist mass media 
does it every hour of every day. They are intentionally looking for images of some black person allegedly doing a crime and that they will hone in on and repeat that audio and the, that video 150 times per hour. Yet, during the protests that are happening now and today, five, six days ago, they have failed to find those racist white nationalists, those racist white supremacists that has infiltrated the peaceful protests. And these right-wing racist white nationalists and white supremacists are destroying buildings, starting fires. They are looting some of these stores. They are masked. They have their entire face covered so that they cannot be identified. But yet you have racist bastards like Trump and Bill Barr getting on national television and pointing the finger to uh, a left-wing group which is absolutely false. It is right-wing nuts that are infiltrating these peaceful protests in Minneapolis, in New York City, in Atlanta, in Louisville, Kentucky, in Los Angeles, in Santa Monica, in Seattle, Washington, all across the nation. These white wing nuts planned, organized, implemented, perfected the plan to hijack peaceful protests and turn it into something that they want in order to incite race riots, race wars, etc., etc. You never hear any of these white anchors and reporters say anything about these right-wing racist nuts that are doing these things within the auspices of a peaceful protest. In these protests, white folks white folks fail to find those black folks that are protesting peacefully. They fail to find those black folks and put them on television 150 times per hour. They won't do that. They are looking to find negative stereotypes negative images. Any negativity regarding black folks, that's what they will call news. And that's what they will repeat 150 times per hour. They will not identify these white racist bastards that are using the tragedy of George Floyd's murder to perfect their sick actions, events, things that they want to occur right here on this plantation called America. These white racist mass media concerns will always single out the black person that is allegedly committing a crime 
And that is what they will show 60 times an hour. In every segment of that broadcast, they will repeat it 16 times. They will use the words loot and looters 60 times per hour. Once, twice every minute, they are using the word loot and looters. And when they use the word thugs, thugs, what they are doing is using a synonym for the N-word. And they, they cannot use the N-word publicly. So therefore, those racist white folks have encoded it and replaced the N-word with the word thugs and criminals. And when white folks use those words, what they are my, doing, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters, is they are calling us, people that look like us, the N-word. That's what they are doing. They will show a black person being arrested a hundred times an hour. Every white-owned racist television station will show it 100 times, repeating it every hour. The white-owned and controlled mass media is still today contributing to the hateful attitudes, the murderers, events, the public lynchings, the assaults, the mass murder of black folks, people that look like me, every day, right here on this plantation called America, and across the globe, these white Races control mass media companies, agencies, corporations have contributed to the attitudes that most white folks have toward black folks. They have contributed to and helped instill, help program the minds of white folks. They have contributed to the social engineering of white folks that makes white folks think today in June of 2020 that my black skin is a weapon and they should be fearful of my black skin. My black skin puts me in a place where I am never unarmed because my skin is always black. That's that social engineering that the racist white control mass media contribute to created in the minds of low info hybrids low info hybridized mutants every day it is endemic in white folks today that hateful discriminatory attitudes those implicit biases in white folks are endemic. It has been passed down genetically through many generations of white folks. And of because of the digital age of today in 2020, these races, white owned and controlled television stations, magazines, radio stations are doing their part 
to sustain those endemic, implicit biases, discriminatory attitudes, and the devaluing of the lives of black folks, people that look like me. The white control mass media is a big part of sustaining those attitudes in white folks right here on this plantation called America. That's what I have on this one. Please go to the thrasherway.libsyn.com. There you will gain access to all that I do. Talk to you again on another one real soon.